do you want to know how to duplicate your pages, posts, or any other content for that matter inside WordPress? In this video, I'm going to give you simple steps on how to do that with the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin. Let's jump into it. Okay, so when you're in your WordPress dashboard, the first thing to do is obviously make sure that you have a backup. You should never install anything or do anything in WordPress without having a backup of what you've recently done. All right, so what are we gonna get here? Well, if I go to all pages on my site, you'll notice that right now I don't have the ability to duplicate any content. So I've got these pages, but I can't easily clone a page to a new copy. So what we're going to do is add a plugin. So I go to plugins, add new. What I'm gonna do is say Yoast duplicate. There we go. So we want the Yoast duplicate post. So I'm gonna install now and then activate. Now you might be asking, is there other good duplicators? I'm sure there are, but I've always used the Yoast one. Um, yeah, I just do. So next up, what I wanna do is go into my settings and I'm gonna look at duplicate post here. And this here gives me different permissions. So when I copy something, what do I wanna copy? At the moment, I copy the title, excerpt, all that sort of stuff, that all seems fine. Um, you can also tell it not to copy certain categories if you want to. And then I click on permissions, who can copy? That's the user roles and then what can be copied. So I'm gonna allow a couple of extra items here to be copied, just like that. And go save changes. And then the final thing we wanna do is check out display. So it just shows these, these links on new draft, clone, rewrite and publish. Yep, that's all good. Post list, admin bar, yep, that's all good. In a better box in the edit screen, you can turn that on and that will make it show up in the sidebar, but I don't have any of these on and showing update notice isn't necessary. So now when we go back to all pages, we now have the ability to say clone, rewrite and republish or clear. So then you can say new draft as well. So the one that I normally use is new draft. Um, so if I say take my page and I click new draft there, that will take the about page that I have there and it copies everything in that page and makes a new draft page. And there it is. There's the about page there. So that should finish up any second. Saving, that's saved, all pages, leave that. And now you can see I've got a new draft page that I created. So you can clone, create new drafts, rewrite and publish. That's all fantastic. I'm gonna now trash that page because I don't no, no longer need it. But that's how you can copy and clone pages inside um, WordPress using the Yoast Duplicator. Did you like this short and sweet tutorial? If you did, why don't you leave a comment below? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And that means I'll get to see you in the next video.